Hello, welcome again to Paul's Racing Channel. This is uh, track guide number five, round five coming up. We're uh, in uh, Australia at Mount Panorama Bathurst. Yes, the iconic Mount Panorama in Bathurst. So we're going to go around, do the usual on the McLaren 650S GT3 uh, car and uh, do the normal uh, track with the comms and then, uh, or with the guide itself. And then uh, you can sit back and, and, and watch me in the on the second lap or third as it will be so here we go then this is round five as i say let's get this so long the start and finish now as the line into turn one about i start to break between sort of the 150 meter balls so the 100 meter and a 50 meter ball about in between there just to start breaking drop it down a couple of gears Although you could probably get round it, you can second or third really, depending on the car. I mean, you can get round here in third. Um, I think I'd, I'd go down into second actually round here in the in this car. Try and get as close as that uh, apex as you can, and then let it drift out. You've got some little bit of runoff there, as you can see that little sort of black tarmac area just ahead there. So it gives you enough kind of just to use that just to come off if you're a little bit too wide on the curb here. You can play with that little bit there, and just like that, and then up mounting straight obviously up the gearbox now as we hit uh, the right hand up at the top here and again in this car brake just after the 100 in between 150 meter board again uh, for this right hand up, start the dropper down again you want to get as tight as you can into this curb you don't want to be hitting that curb really because in some cars it will bottom out and you'll be spinning off uh, and probably going backwards at this point so it's because it's a little bit cambered this corner the curb would also obviously be cambered as well so it's not a flat curb so you've got to be a bit careful give it a little bit of respect you can come out further out here see on the left hand side you've got this little runoff area as well you can get close to those boards as well really you can get as far close as you can you've got that runoff there so you can use as much as that as you like up the hill towards the cutting now at this point here you're, you're aiming right for that where it juts out there, where the cliff face or the mountain face comes out there, right in that corner. Obviously, try not to hit it, obviously, but you're trying almost straight lining it, to getting as close as you can, and then head over to the right. Now, I'm a little bit tight here, actually, on this particular lap. I should be a little bit further right. You don't want to be out past that white line. That's dirty out there, and that will uh, cause you to hit that wall on the right-hand side. I'm a little bit in the middle here, but then just try and get as close as you can. It's all about the turn in here. Let it feed it out. Try and get you closer again. That curb can knock you off as well, and then you're feeding your way out to the left. Get as close as this left hand uh, wall as you can near that tree, and then you start to then almost straighten up. You want to try and straight line it through this next right hander, sort of right left, as it is a little kink. So you're almost straight lining it now. See where it goes through. So you're just trying to now go across into that left hand apex there. Feed it out to the right hand side. A little bit of a runoff as well there. See that runoff where the black, uh, where the line is there, where the board is. You can use all that to kind of get you a little bit more straighter into this corner here. Take that curb again. Feed it out again. You're easy to hit the wall on the right hand side. Just need to just lift a little bit there and again here. Just a little lift to get you round. Don't want to be out on the grass there on the right hand side. Obviously, if you hit the top of the mountain now, break just about where the bridge is where i am now basically right on the brow of the hill almost straight line it across this kind of runoff area i don't want to hit the runoff area obviously but you're just going to try almost straight line it and you're coming down the gears now go down about a second and then try and hug it in now in this particular car you have to go a little bit wide you can't really hit that grass on the inside um some cars will affect the way you exit it so i've gone a little bit wider here to keep away from that grass means it compromises my drive out of there around these s's and then again you're trying to hug this right hand and then on the brakes here right at the top of the hill again start dropping it down again you want to try and get as close as the inside wall on this left as you can because it's tight around there and then down comrade straight now and that's obviously all about full speed up the gearbox again all the way up under the timing or across the timing line where the bridge is there and then here again you can use to get ready for this right hander um, you've got to 
use all this on the left hand side over that line try and get you straight clip that inside curb and about 150 to 100 meter balls you're going to start breaking and dropping it down to this next left hander get close to that inside curb just feed it round and it's basically all the way down to the final corner left hander again in this car just after the 100 between the 100 and the 50 meter ball drop it down hug that inside line I've got a little bit wide there and then over the line which is along here in the middle 200 meter ball bang so there we go So that's it then guys, hope you enjoyed that. Join me soon for this next round, round five from Bathurst, Mount Panorama. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then, thanks for watching.